I don't think there's anything in that house. Ooh. Good job we was in the car then. I was it took us a lot further. Mind you, it's all over the car in it as well. Let's get out of the car. I need a breather. Took a morphine. Took a snack. I usually take some of those uh, fan for gases out with me, but he had he was weighted down with uh, medical supplies, supplies. So I didn't really bother. Put them out around the house just for a laugh. Um, disaster preparedness kit. Cricket bat. I suppose. Sit tight. Taking this stuff home. We'll see you soon. Let's have another search around in here before we go. And remember that this is the corner bedroom next to the kitchen and the bathroom. Nine millimeter table leg. I've got some of that. Space for this. So those are always handy to have, but you know, like you say, no, no room. Could have turned my light out in here because you can see all right, but that attracts the zombies if you leave the light on. I don't have enough space for this. Another nine millimeter. Could mess about putting all that stuff in the back of the truck, of course, in the back of the other truck. Been in here, so we'd need about maybe four to six spaces. Heads up, we got zombie activity three o'clock. Time for a coffee. Bacon ingredients and a baseball bat. Well, the baseball bat's going to be handy, isn't it? for the language. Ricky Skull do, just to swear. <coughs> medicine. Don't need the medicine. So we'll put the medicine in there. Um we'll put the two before we nails in there got nine millimeter bullets coming in I'm already with the sandwiches so I'll leave some sandwiches in there and uh, that's only cleared out two spaces maybe it's just two trips inside then and then later on if you just want to have a little bit of clean up when things get desperate you can always come out back to the van picking stuff up you know baking ingredients well a 
resource boxes of ingredients for baking don't really know about that let's have should be able to put things on the floor as well which is you know ridiculous that you can't do that oh. yeah well the expensive things are the guns really mm. see if there's a I can go out with no no meds and stuff on me and hope to find stuff on the road. They won't be receiving any any more letters from the bill from the company, will you? No more bills. Since it's a state of decay. <coughs> This will be, um, I think, a straight run home. Now with this, you can actually go this way around through the bush. I went the long way around, the hard way around, should I say. You can actually get past this sign, but I'm never bothered about it really. Just mess about. They were running fast, weren't they? For normal zombies. And of course if you um, put a lot of little relay vehicles out along the line and probably the you know police cars and these types of vehicles you can use your other vehicles to skip between them to pick up your resources and you can store fives and sixes of things there's no point in putting stuff in there if you don't need to it's going to be stuff you can take home, but since all my storage is full, it doesn't matter how much room you have, you always outgrow it. I think they've made it so that. Oops, that was my new car. It you just crashed into. Did to smash his head in. Come on, let's go. Finish it off. Huh. 
Right, so who's this that we've got then? Let's see if we can find his name. Not talking. That's got the survivor here. Bringing him in, he barely won't come in the gate. Thank you. Get out my way, will you, so I can shut the gate, you dipped. Right, we're going to finish that there. Here we are. Okay, that's all we needed. Thanks. Oh no, not another one. Oh, he's gone. Yeah. Found Caden. He's just, it's just Caden. He gets himself into trouble all the time. He's a dickhead. It's not a new survivor. Right. So we'll call it quits there for now. That's enough for today, I think. <laughs>